Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another classic what you eat. And today I'm going to be making this. And it is a pop and cooking set. It is a relatively new one. And this is the Fresh Bakery Kit. So this pop and cooking kit makes miniature versions of some baked goods that you can find at a Japanese bakery, including melon pond and this little custard pond and a little kuma pond, which is a bear bread. If you want to see a baby Emmy video where I taste actual breads from a Japanese bakery, check out this video above. And that video, I taste a bunch of Ampal Man breads or breads that are shaped like Ampal Man. Before we even start things, can we talk a little bit about this shirt that I am in love with? Do you love this shirt? This is my Tulu Take Care Bye shirt. If you'd like to get one for yourself, click the link down below. It's only running for two weeks. So get it while you can, get one for your friends. It would make a lovely holiday gift. Okay, back to the show. Whoop. There we go. Now, like all pop and cookins, this is a very efficient kit. We must save the wrapper because we're going to need it. So that serves as our little placemat. This is our measuring template. And here is the label for our orange soda. A big cup for our orange soda, a little spatula, and here's our tray. Inside these packets, we have the bread mix, and the strawberry mix, custard powder, the melon pond crust, and the orange soda mixture. There are our four pieces. The first thing we're gonna do is make our strawberries and I'm gonna use two measuring spoons of water. One, two. Add the strawberry batter. And stir that up. And now we're going to scoop them into the little strawberry divots. There's our five jelly strawberries. Now we're gonna set these aside. Now we need four scoops of water. Now we're going to add the bread powder. Doesn't smell like much. Hmm. And stir that up. Now this is a pretty thick dough here that we're forming as opposed to the gel that we just made. Now that it's formed a dough, we're gonna use our fingers. It says to knead it 20 times. Now we're gonna divide this up into balls that are about the size of the template. Okay, so we have our balls measured out. Now we're gonna take our ball of dough and press it into the mold. And same thing with the bear, right in there. Boop. Okay, so now we're gonna make the crust for the melon palm, which has kind of this crackly green cookie crust on the outside. So we're gonna use this green packet. One scoop of water and the powder. Now we're gonna stir this up. Now we're gonna take our little melon palm crust, roll it into a ball, place that into the middle. And now we're gonna press this out. Now we're gonna take our little melon palm dough ball and place that in the middle. Peel that off, then we're gonna cover the dough like this. Okay, we're gonna hide that. Now we're gonna make the signature pattern in the melon pot. So we're just gonna score it using our little shovel. Cute. So depending on the type of microwave you have, you're gonna to have to make adjustments for cooking time. 500 watt oven, 40 seconds. 600 watt oven, 30 seconds. If yours has higher wattage, I would reduce the power by 50% and you'll probably get somewhere in that range. So here are the little breads that just came out of the oven. They poofed up and now I'm gonna let them cool off. And now we're going to make the custard. So we're gonna take this and cut it right on number one right here. Stand it up in our tray, one scoop of water. Then use our little spatula to mix that up. So now that we have the custard mixed, we're going to fold on these perforations here, like this. We're gonna cut the corner off and this is gonna become a little bit of a pastry bag. Let's take out the other breads. Come on. Oh, look, they came out perfectly. And fill this little portion here. Mm. 
We can perfect this by using a toothpick. There we go, there's our little bear, so stinking cute. <laughs> now we're gonna get our strawberries out. Oh, they come out so nicely, <gasps> so satisfying. And finally, we're gonna make our orange soda. So I took that little label and I stuck it on this little cup here. So now we're gonna add water to one centimeter below the rim of the cup. Right about there. Now we're gonna add the orange soda mix. I love this because it actually fizzes. The first time I did this was in the pop and cooking hamburger set and it, <laughs> I didn't know what's gonna happen. It was just so thrilling. Isn't that great? Oh, it's the simple little tiny details like this that make these kits so enjoyable. Look, there they are along with my orange soda. Alrighty, so now we've completed our fresh bakery kit and like all the other pop and cooking sets I've made, it turned out beautifully, just absolutely beautifully. So the first thing I'm gonna taste is this tiny little orange soda. Come by. <laughs> Yum, that's actually really tasty. It's tart and tangy, slightly effervescent. There's a little bit of bubble to it, but it's got a nice tang to it. It actually tastes a lot like tang, but it's not saccharinely sweet. It's got a nice little bit of tartness to it. It's absolutely delightful. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a crust on it. And there's a little bit of dough in the middle. It's cooked all the way through. Doesn't look raw. Definitely smells of melon. Let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. <laughs> It's strange. It's got a very strong fake melon flavor to it. The texture's a little bit odd. It's kind of crumbly like a cake a little bit, but it's a little bit doughy too. But for being microwaved and coming out of a packet of powders, it's not bad. A little bit sweet. Kind of similar to maybe like a steamed bread with a little bit of more crumb to it. Let's cut the strawberry custard one next. Let's see if I can cut a wedge. And that looks a little bit like a tart. Hmm. Hmm? The texture is a little bit weird. It's a little bit like pizza dough. It's kind of damp and dense, but it's got a nice sweetness to it. And I think that has to do with that vanilla flavored custard. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like vanilla pudding. The strawberry gel thing on the top is a little bit odd. It's jellied and soft and it has a little bit of strawberry flavor to it, but that vanilla custard is actually quite good. I'm just gonna bite its head. Here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and that's not bad either. Just a little bit of a sweetness. It's moist and fluffy. It definitely cooked in the microwave. So it has, again, like that kind of steam bread texture to it. A little bit more cookie-like in terms of density, but not bad, just a little bit of sweetness, a touch of vanilla. I think of all the baking ones, including the crepe maker and the cakey maker, this is my favorite baked pop and cooking set. Turns out pretty well. And it comes with an orange soda that tastes pretty good too. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I've got it. You know what this actually reminds me of? This reminds me of an emergency. They're full of vitamin C and they're sweetened and they effervesce. Almost exactly like the orange flavored one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Click the link down below to get yourself a Tudaloo Take Care Buy shirt, limited time only for the next two weeks. And yeah, share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Tudaloo, take care, bye.